What's up there guys? Corey here with Android Community. Today we have a uh, interesting little app we stumbled upon called Active Lock Screen by a company called Celtic. And uh, what this is is obviously very self-explanatory. We have a active lock screen. It's basically just a completely customizable lock screen just kind of like a lot of people tweak their home launchers and whatnot to give you just tons of options for your lock screen. So right off the, uh, the bat when you open it up there's a settings feature up top. You have the clock and uh, date and what have you, and that is all um, in, you know changeable and tweakable. And they have the company themselves have tons of uh, different themes, so you can change everything, look and feel. And then obviously right here, you can quickly slide over to uh, you know turn off sound for mute, and uh, then you can go to vibrate and go through a few things. And it'll actually tell you with little pop-ups if you enable hints. Um, I actually disabled those, so you can just quickly you know do that and then obviously slide to unlock and your phone's unlocked just like usual but this is where it's a little different when you hit the middle you can also do those same things to unlock or mute but then you have all these lock screen shortcuts now this is any, not anything I guess extremely new um, when you think of unlock screen you know shortcuts you know we have them in sense and we have them in touch with but they have a whole new spin on it where when you go to each one this one shows you your previously open apps and then you can also customize those and you can instantly launch into those. Over here the camera shows a couple things I've done recently being go directly to the camera, Instagram, a couple other things but real quickly I'm going to go into settings and uh, go back to advanced settings and enable those hints. As you can see here they have a decent little uh, user interface and layout and then uh, go ahead and go back. So now when we go back You've got little hints. See that tells you up top select app, and then as you go through them all, it kind of tells you. See the hints on the top of the screen now, telling us what each app is we're on. And the same thing now when you go ahead and you know drag to mute, drag to set to vibrate. Same thing here. So you go to camera, and then it says right there select the camera app, or you can go to some of the recently opened things like the gallery or Instagram. Oops, but. Um, it's actually really neat. The uh, the user interface on the lock screen is pretty impressive right there. As you can see, it kind of was delayed because it has to open when you hit the unlock button. But for the most part, it's usually right there and quickly opens. Um, and then when you come over here to like, you know, this main thing as well, Facebook, these are top, you know, recently opened things. So you can tweak all this. Instead of just unlocking to certain shortcuts, you can unlock to entire folders with multiple options just to make things extremely quick. And then all these are customizable or just set to, you know, open your favorites or open recent, you know, apps. And then even call, you go in there and uh, mine will show me a bunch of previous calls. So I'm not going to go in there and show all the phone numbers. But you can tweak that to show, you know, just your favorite callers or your top callers or contacts in your, in your favorites. Um, the only thing that's missing is you can't do that with, like, text messaging. You can come into messaging, but you can't instantly go into it like you can with the phone to see and instantly you know quickly you know send text messages so it only works um, with phone calls but I mean in general you can see it's very smooth going to something like music and you're just ready to rock here within a couple of seconds going to some of the music so um, it's actually not bad this is active lock screen and it really is kind of neat um, so one other thing here you slide down Go right instantly into settings. So you can enable the lock screen. You can select all the shortcuts. So you come in here and it shows you your four options, camera, recent apps. Those are those four things along the top. So you go into something like the recent ones on the side and you can actually set them to be just always, you know, certain ones. So I mean, it'll always show you your recent camera stuff, which you'd like to leave because obviously the camera's Instagram and, you know, the regular camera, not a lot. So the, the recent apps is one that a lot of people will probably customize themselves to a way that you know suits them best um, again the, the user interface is a little no, it's not quite the best but it's how it works that's the important part and it works pretty good another thing when you come to the settings you can go to themes like I mentioned there's tons of themes I have a black theme that I went ahead and downloaded so now go ahead and go back to that lock screen and you'll see a whole new look and feel to your lock screen not only is all those active features there but now the entire look of the lock screen has changed so as you can see here, I've got a nice black theme on my lock screen. And again, the same thing, it works the same, but everything's slightly different looking with the icons. But in general, it's the same idea here. And then obviously you can see the clock's changed. And uh, then some of these little sliding bars are might be a little hard to see. It's actually really neat. So I mean, they have tons of options. They have tons of settings. 
um, to really make your lock screen active and come to life. Um, so it's more than just lock screen widgets or lock screen shortcuts. There's just really tons of things you can do here. Go ahead and load more. Go into the Play Store and they have tons of uh, different themes available. But it's actually really nice. I've been uh, toying with it for the last few days. That was just a quick look at active lock screen by a company called Celtic. And uh, there it was. Thanks for watching, guys. Go get it. By the way, this is completely free, so that is a bonus.